हाय फ्रेंड्स आज हम डिस्कस करने जा रहे हैं एक एरर को एरर को फिक्स करना है वी हैव टू फिक्स दिस एरर एक्चुअली व्हाट हैपनिंग हियर सो नो स्प्रिंग कॉन्फ़िग इंपोर्ट सेट एट दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉन्फ़िगरेशन पोस्ट प्रोसेस एनवायरनमेंट सो व्हाट इट इज एक्चुअली हैपनिंग ओवर हियर Uh, we are getting this error and why we are getting this error so let me uh, show you the configuration which is i have added for this uh, project creation so so here it is like uh, first of all if you can see the project project i am using the maven and the language which is i am using java and the spring boot uh, version is right now i am using 2.7.15 and apart from these if you can see over here the project metadata which is information i entered over here so you can keep it as same as it uh, same as it is or you can change as uh, in respect of your project as well but the package package is jar and the java version which we are using 17 only and here is the main uh, concern why uh, what are the dependencies we are using over here if you can see uh spring bave spring boot dev tools and spring boot actuator and the third oh, sorry fourth uh, one is the con config client which is the main uh, reason for this particular error is coming up right now so this config client which if you can see here uh, let me add the yeah so this is the one configuration which is i have added why i have added that, uh, this particular configuration this is because of i am using uh, microservice i am just creating one microservice uh, one small microservice so for that reason i have added this particular configuration client and this configuration client is says like client that connect connects to spring cloud config server to fetch the application configuration so actually uh, this particular configuration we have to add whenever we are working on multi uh, microservices uh, architecture and then we have to be shared with the all different uh, microservices so that's what i have added this particular configuration but right now what is happening with this particular project once i have generated this project then i am getting this particular exception while i'm running this particular project let me show you again if you want uh, let me minimize this okay here it is this is the project which is just i created the project there is nothing is there in this project there is a no controller class no service no repository nothing is there here it is only the one limit service application uh, over uh starter it's boot step uh, starter uh file class okay let me run run as java application let's see what it is happen it is asking which uh main class you want to run so this is the one limit service application let me click on it and console so here it is we are getting this particular error exception if you can see config data missing environment post process import exception no spring config import set so this is the one property which is not setted by us that's why we are getting this particular exception so how we can solve it this problem this solution also is given by uh, the log itself if you can see here application failed to start and the description they have mentioned over here like no space spring config import property has been defined so that is the reason only the our application is not starting it up the action which is they have mentioned also add the spring config this this and that so let me copy this particular solution copy this and where we have to add the properties as you all know we have to add the property in application.properties file let me go to the application.properties files there is no property as of now let me paste this property and break down are the list of the solution which we have right now let me close it down let me clear this exception as well okay let me enlarge this particular file itself only okay application.properties files we have this 
so what the first solution they have provided here so let me uh, comment it out the first line add a this spring dot config dot import config server property to your okay let me enter and add the commented out this config server import property but here it is the one issue is here right now we don't have any server information config server information as of now let's see what else they have given some solution if configuration is not required add this as well spring dot config import optional configuration okay that is the one so here if you can see this is the one which we can use as of now as of now we don't have any server information once we have the server information then we can add that particular server information over here apart from this is there anything is there instead to disable okay let me go back instead to disable this check set okay so they have said do not use these particular properties spring dot cloud.config.enable false so what it is it will happen actually if we are making that false we cannot use the functionality of spring cloud which we are going to use actually so that's why these two options should not be used these two options these one and the these one so let me add the, the this is the first solution and this one is the second solution if I can say let me delete okay this is the second solution okay the third one is this one and the fourth one okay that's it this I'm adding the numbers so that you can understand one by one so let's try with the first solution what it will going to happen first won't work until unless we are not adding the server information so that's why after colon we have to add, add the server information let me save this run it then you can see error is still will be there here so still it's asking for this information it's not there if you can see no spring config uh, spring dot config dot import is not set so as of now this won't work because we don't have information if we have the information you can add that particular so first solution will not use as of now but the second solution let's try with this so this will work because we are added optional right so optional what it will do actually optionally we are not adding this particular config server information if you have it then you can add it so this one will be the work all the time if you have the information you if you don't have the information let's run again yeah it's working right now so as you can see there are some issue with the initially it should work with this particular property with optional so if you can see here console we can add it over here then you can see this working perfectly even you can check with the browser as well with 8080 okay so let's see let's see some uh, different properties this is the second solution let's start with the fourth solution save it let me clean it up the project because sometimes some cache memory will not allow to work it but they have said here instead to disable this check so they have uh, purposely said that you do not use this particular property let's start again but it will work it will work there is no issue at all if you can see here there is no issue it's a started limit service application perfectly without any without any issue. similarly okay let's run it again without any property so that you can see it's not working here is the exception if you can see if you want to check you can see this is the no spring config dot set but the fourth last solution let's try save it let's run it again it should sorry i did not stop the server let's run it again let's see what it does okay 
there is some issue again the cache memory let me clean oh sorry clean the project clean it up let's run it again see okay there is one another issue let me open up for you what it happened actually fail to convert type java string dot lang dot boolean or something like that invalid boolean false so what it is happening here i missed it something this also you might be missed sometimes so here is one dot apart from these false i have added this false dot so let me remove this false dot save it again and run it again let's see it should work this time yeah it's working fine but 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 there is a one concern they have mentioned over here do not use these two fourth and third option this option should not be used okay so you can use this particular option which is allow you to optional for configure server that's it all about let's run it last time so that i can say you tata bye bye it's working isn't it okay let me refresh it i think there is some issue with the cache memory which is i've shared you earlier clean it up mm, yeah it's working conditional it started limit server application that's it all about thank you very much to all of you